This 17 year old girl says she's haunted by memories she can't forget. Mentally, it, it does take a toll on me. She prefers not to be identified, but says she was sexually assaulted by former youth pastor Charles Franklin Busby while she attended Connect Point Church in Forest City, Arkansas. Sometimes it's just, I'm fine. <laughs> Other times I'm just mad, I want to cry. But grateful Busby is now charged with sexual assault. According to the Times Herald newspaper, the 31 year old turned himself into police Friday. I really want him gone. She says it all started several years ago when Busby allegedly began to frequently hug her. She was 14 at the time and he was 28. That wasn't really normal. Usually people give hugs from the side. He would hug from like up front. When she turned 15, she says Busby started sending her sexual texts and convinced her to have sex with him twice at the church, once in the prayer room, then again in the youth room while she was rehearsing for a Christmas play. He told me not to say anything. But now wishes she would have said something sooner. According to news reports, investigators revealed that at least three other girls, one of them 11 years old, filed police reports against Busby. I hated these younger kids going through what I did. She says she told church leadership last summer after her parents found the texts Busby allegedly sent. It does disgust me. Lead pastor Alan Calvert claims Busby was immediately removed from his position and released a statement saying everything that was brought to us was reported correctly and timely, which doesn't explain why police are just now filing charges. The church goes on to add this is unthinkable and we pray that justice is served. I do regret not going earlier. This teenage girl hopes Busby's convicted. Just to be honest, I hope he goes in the right cell and meets Big Bubba. Claiming he robbed her of many things, including her sense of trust. In Forest City, Andrew Ellison, WRG News, Channel 3. Now, our news crew went to Busby's listed address, but a woman told us to leave. He has not been charged in relation to the other alleged incidents. We'll keep you updated.